Hi, Commissioners. It's a pleasure. Uh, my name is Bob Akis Fandiari. I also live in the Richmond District. Um, I frequent uh, California Street in this particular area a, a fair amount, and I'm here speaking uh, in favor of the proposal as proposed by uh, the developer group because they build housing and they know what it will take to finance and get it built. And while I understand and in some cases agree with some of the things that uh, the community alternative plan folks have proposed, at the end of the day, I'm a supporter of getting things done and getting things built, and I have seen nothing to indicate that their proposals are gonna actually get financed and get produced. Um, I'll tell a brief personal story. Uh, I currently uh, rent in the city, and I currently rent um, from a family member of mine, and, and that family member, while he's giving me a good deal, he's my dad, he's giving me a good deal on rent, um, and it was a arrangement that we had because uh, he didn't want me moving far, far away from him. He lives in the East Bay, and I wanted to get on with my life and get out of my parents' house. And so we came to an arrangement where he bought a place, and, and he would let me uh, rent it for below market rate, and that's worked out for the last couple of years. But he wants to sell, and he wants to move on, and fine, that's his right, uh, it's his condo. Um, but the city's in a dire housing shortage, uh, and we do not have enough housing, and we do not have the time to delay, and we do not have the time to pursue community alternative plans that we don't even know if they'll get financed or not. And housing is an expensive venture. It costs over 700K. I know you know this, but it costs over $700,000 to build a door uh, in this city nowadays. Um, I don't know what my future holds in the city anymore. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to go after my dad sells. And uh, I'm hoping they'll be able to find a place at a similar rent or maybe a little bit more expensive. But for all I know, I'm going to have to move to, to you know Vallejo or further out because I don't earn, I earn enough to qualify for BMR housing, but I know there are so many more people that uh, are of need. And I really uh, hope that, that you take a lot of the things said here today under consideration. I know that these decisions aren't easy, but at the end of the day, I hope that you'll uh, certify the proposal as proposed by Prado Group and, and the, the project sponsor, because we need this housing. We needed it, frankly, when it was proposed years ago. I've attended all of the meetings in 2016 and 17 and 18. Um, not all of them, but I've attended most of them. And uh, there's been a lot of input. They've taken a lot of things under advisement. They've changed things I wish they hadn't. And they've left more car parking than I wish they had. I wish they'd taken all the car parking out because we're in an environmental crisis too. Um, please approve this proposal. And uh, oh, I'll leave you with one last note. It echoes what my uh, friend Michael Chen said earlier, um, which is that if you look back on the, the below market rate housing proposals uh, in District 2 over the last couple of years, it's been in the single digits or sl small double digits. And if you look into the future, the number of proposed below market rate housing in District 2 is zero for 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. This neighborhood needs to do its fair share like everywhere else. The Richmond District also needs to do its fair share, and I'll be back here for more proposals uh, further west than this project. I guarantee it. Thank you.